So what's going to be the product in this reaction? Well, let's see. We have our sodium ethoxide, which is both base and a nucleophile. Our leaving in this case, the bromine, is sitting on the secondary carbon, which means that we are looking at the E2 reaction here. Now, since this is an E2 reaction, I'm going to look at the available protons in the beta position to my leaving group. I have a proton over here, which is going to be sitting on the dash, and I have a couple more protons on the bottom over there. We also know that for the E2 reaction, the leaving group and hydrogen must be antiperiplanar to each other, and since bromine, my leaving group, is looking away from me, that means that the hydrogen that I can pull off here must be looking at me, and the only hydrogen that we have available is right over here, which means that my ethoxide going to come in and snatch that proton kicking our leaving group out, giving us the following alkene as the final product and not the one with the double bond over here. So whenever dealing with the E2 reactions, always make sure you check for your stereochemistry.